It looks like finally that sun's made an appearance. We've had a terrible summer, but we've now got three days of full sun and temperatures of around 76 Fahrenheit. That's going to help these plants along quite a lot. And I'm just in process of getting ready for work. But before I do that, I need to take a little harvest because tonight, first time for a long time, we really do feel like a spicy chicken salad. So I'm going to grab a bit of salad and have a look at what else there is because I did notice something in one of the containers that's ready to go as well and it's something new for this year. Something else I noticed this morning is these strawberries. These are the ones that we potted on and they've took root. So we've got two new plants, haven't we? But also this little tiny one has got a flower on it already, which is brilliant. And that one is only a two litre pot, but it's already got a really good sized strawberry on it. We'll keep doing that and get as many strawberry plants this year as we can. Meanwhile, I did spy something in this container. You can probably already see it. We've got some more strawberries, really nice ripe ones as well. And another. Brilliant. I can see another one just at the back there. But that one is not quite ready. I think I'm going to take it anyway. If I don't, then birds might spy it and then we won't have any. So that's a good start today. Three really nice, good sized ripe strawberries. And we've got plenty more on way as well. No more ripe tomatoes at the moment, unfortunately. Or at least we have got a few coming. I'll give these a check as well while I'm at it. These are growing right down to ground. And they're, again, got another runner ready to pot on for new plants. And about three more as well. So that's four more strawberry plants while we're still harvesting fresh strawberries. I think Jenny might have been at this one yesterday and already taken a couple. But we have now got some really big lettuce plants here. Webb's Wonder and they are starting to bunch up together now. So I'm going to take one and that'll do us for tea. I think I'll take the centre one. We've got shallots behind here and more carrots. So by harvesting, we give those a bit more room and more importantly, a bit more light. So I'm just going to pull that one out nice and clean. Got a little bit of soil on the bottom, but that's not a problem. But that's tea sorted out. This oak leaf green is also doing really well. So we can take a variety if we want. We'll just cut away some big leaves. Once again, they'll grow back. But we're making room for that and we're getting a bit of variety in a salad at the same time. So all those outer leaves can come away. And it is a case of I'm overshadowing this beetroot, but it grows taller than this, so that doesn't matter. I think that's plenty with what we've took so far. This is a container full of dwarf French beans. And this is what I'm looking at this morning. They're called tender green as well. And we've put quite a few plants in here and they've been very slow growing. But now, we're starting to get some French beans and I like to pick them when they're really young like that. They're most tender if you do that. It also allows for more flowers to grow to produce more beans. Also, at the same time, we can check it, see if any leaves are damaged. That's what's great about having things in containers, because you can turn them so they get equal amounts of sun. Another good one. There is loads and loads of really tiny ones on here. 
So if we take these bigger ones away, they're going to grow that bit quicker. And as we find those yellowing leaves, we can take them away. You can see that these are all individual plants as well, but they grow perfectly fine together in a bunch. And there is more flowers down this centre. You all right? Getting your lunch sorted? That's right. It is a bit like a jungle in here. If we just take his time, we're definitely getting some up. There's another one right there. So for today, that's not bad at all. We've got a nice bowl of fresh cut salad and a mixture of two different types as well, which is always appreciated. And then an handful or so of these baby fringe beans. So now that sun's back, everything should also start and ripen. So hopefully, in just a few weeks time, we'll also be harvesting cherry tomatoes. And maybe we'll have another cucumber ready on top as well. So summer has returned. Your plants are gonna start and grow a lot quicker now. So then we can all enjoy fresh homegrown food. Anyway, we're at mid morning now and I've got work to do. So I'm heading down site with all tools I can carry and we're going to start some maintenance work on this caravan site because that, apart from this, is my new job. There's still quite a lot of maintenance to do and this is only the second day of this new job. So I'd best get these put in fridge and get cracked on. And if you're interested in seeing the video to see what maintenance I get done today, then I'll leave a link in description to caravan channel. But for now, we'll get these popped in fridge and we'll get cracked on with that job. If you want to see what else we do, and hopefully what else we harvest over the next few weeks, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and I'll see you next time. Take care and enjoy the sun while you can.